Hi there. My name is Aparna. I'm a coach. Every week I bring to you tips, tricks, tools and hacks that can help you upskill your life. And if this interests you, do consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and following me on various social media handles that are flashing on the screen and will also be given in the description below. In her book, Becoming, Michelle Obama says, failure is a feeling long before it becomes an actual result. It's vulnerability that breeds with self-doubt and then is escalated often deliberately by fear. Isn't that true? If we can take care of ourselves during that vulnerable phase, then that can give us strength to move into the direction that we want to. And I'm chatting today with someone who did exactly that. My guest today is Poonam Yevle, a dear friend, a fellow coach who's passionate about changing the lives of business owners. She's also my coach. She has gone through this vulnerable phase that Michelle was talking about and emerged victorious. Welcome to my channel, Poonam, and thank you so very much for giving me your time and willingness to share your failures with us. Happy to be here. I want to begin today by asking you to share with us your greatest failure that served as a turning point in your life. One of my biggest uh, experiences of failures happened in my career. So... For me, uh, I studied a BSc nutrition and then I did post-graduation diploma in mm. sports nutrition. I also did a post-graduation diploma in therapeutic nutrition. So I was also a trainer certified um, by Talwalkars at that point of time. And I was a gym trainer as well as an aerobic trainer. And I was all set to live my career you know, in health and nutrition. And I also, in fact, got married, went to Mumbai. I started my work there in a gym where I had the opportunity to work with celebrities. And I did that for about a few months and I got pregnant. And when I gave birth to my son, somehow I just felt like my career was crashing all around me. For something that I've been, you know, working for the last eight years. So my whole world crashed at that point of time. I was not sure, you know, how soon I can get back into my career and how soon I would be able to really fulfill all my dreams. That is something that I really dealt with, was right. highly impacted emotionally, got into depression also for a period of time because of it, you know, because I was not sure how I will get back into becoming fit and getting into a gym again. And you're know, starting all over again after a year or two of break. So, yeah, so that whole thing, you know, getting into the depression and getting out of it, all of that took me a good, uh, you know, 10, 10 years, 10, 12 years it took me. That is something that, you know, uh, was one of the biggest failures that I experienced on a very personal level for myself. Right. So can we talk a little bit about the dichotomy you were facing? On one hand, you were euphoric about the kid coming into your life and on the other hand you mentioned you use the words that my career came crashing down something has ended and something beautiful has begun this is a common situation for all working mothers right so can you recall that moment for us very emotional and, uh, period for me actually where I was really really uh, in love with my baby and uh, you know taking care of him at the same time you know uh, I, I'm a very ambitious person mm -hmm. actually uh, and to know that I wasn't doing anything you know I just finished studying and I I'm doing nothing now, suddenly for uh, four years five years you know I was uh, looking for the kind of happiness that I wanted that actually would come through work but I, at that time, did not realize. So you go into this emotional tizzy and you don't realize, you know, what is it that you are missing and what is it that you're really, you know, desperate to have? So, yes, I definitely went through that period. And the one pain that I continued to have and I continued to experience was uh, the fact that I was not feeling useful, you know. I felt like my parents had, you know, educated me so much and uh, there's so much that I can do with uh, this and I'm not doing anything. So, yeah, I kept living in that for quite mm, some time. Yeah, I'm sure the situation is relatable to many, Poonam. A lot of us go through similar experiences, but not many are able to overcome so easily. Could you share with us what you did 
that helped you to overcome these depressive emotions so uh, so you know there was a period of time when i uh, when i used to cry a lot i used to cry for even simple things i was frightened of going out i was frightened of meeting people my husband used to say punam i'll take you and he used to hold my hand and he used to take me out walking so that's how bad it got you know when my ter- son turned 5 uh, at that point of time my husband uh, did this transformational education called landmark forum he asked me to do it i said you know i didn't want to do it obviously because uh, you know no, no one thinks there's something wrong with them right even if you're like going on in depression and you're dealing with failures no there's nothing wrong with me everything's fine uh, how worse can it get i'm fine but uh, then you know my husband insisted and i went and i uh, attended it and uh, i think that was the moment for me where i began to see that if i want something to happen i can make it happen it's up, up to me to make things happen so after doing that education it was a year after that or two that i discovered that i actually was in depression i had to first admit to myself that listen here i am you know i'm depressed and i have to i brought myself here i did not come here by accident i brought myself here and i'm the only one who can get myself out of this people around you don't understand you know what is depression they don't even know that you're going through it they have no clue and even if you try to explain to them it's not very easy because they can't see the sense of it they don't see why you should think that way or why you should feel a certain way it's not that bad but then you know i had to constantly educate people i had my family i had to constantly inform them of the state that i am in i had to constantly invite them to be patient with me i had to be constantly you know um asking them to be sensitive to my uh, state and um, by doing that like my family you know supported me even though they didn't understand it and thank god you know thank god they were normal around me because i uh, could feel that i could get back to that state of normalcy and they were not treating me like i was ill so for me i had to work on my mindset right and it is not so simple as okay you know what today i'm going to think something differently and now i am thinking differently or okay you know what i'm going to motivate myself and i'm going to be motivated it's not yeah as, yeah that doesn't work it's right, about i think right. giving myself the permission to say what i want you know to say how i want it to be um all right you know things are not going as per my wishes life is not supposed to go as per my wishes every state that i transformed for myself through my own thinking was because i took responsibility of every aspect of my thinking every aspect of what i'm feeling i took responsibility of that and i decided that i'm not going to blame others yeah for this yeah so that's another thing right the moment anything goes wrong with our lives the first thing we do is to find someone to blame it on right so taking responsibility not for things that are the situation that we are in but how we are reacting or responding to that situation can definitely help us move forward right absolutely absolutely in fact you know i used to blame my husband that oh you know i am really down because my husband is not doing a good job with his business he's you know our house is not pretty because he is not doing anything about it of course i started taking responsibility in part but there was a moment where we really fought after you know we kept fighting every time and then one day he said you know what if you have dreams and if you have wishes and if you have wants it's your you do it why are you you know putting them all on me and i was like that was a shocking statement i was like he is so right why am i putting all my dreams my wishes on him why am i burdening him with it doesn't he have his own dream his own wishes and it could be different from mine right so that's when i decided you know this is it i'm going to be responsible for my own dreams and for my own wishes and it is going to be me who is going to fulfill them not him so that's the shift that began to happen and i discovered that okay you know what if i want to have a great career i've got to let go of the burden called you know 8 years i've studied my parents have invested and i have invested and i've done nothing with it i cannot keep crying about it i cannot keep crying about it and i have to let it go and the moment i let it go i asked myself how do i really want to live the rest of my life you know what do i really want to be doing with the rest of my life 
and i really look back at all of my life and i really looked at what is the one thing that gave me most pleasure fulfillment and satisfaction even if somebody never paid me any money for it i would still be happy doing it so it's uh, you know the 10 years of coaching that i did at landmark and the transformation that i witnessed and to know that i contributed to that joy or i contributed to that happiness was something that i did not want to compromise with and i was like i want to live with this feeling for all of my life and uh, and i chose to become a coach and i got myself certified and uh, since then i've never looked back like you know i've found the joy of my life and yeah i mean i'm very happy with where i am and the work that i have done your face is shining bright yeah. punam and i'm so happy for you that you have absolute clarity in what you do and where you have come so far you know in your journey and thank you so much for that share as a last thought is there any message that you'd like to give to people especially women who may be going through the same things that you did i would like to give three uh, you know messages number 1 allow yourself to say what you want like give yourself the permission to say to yourself what you want number 2 take support i think it's good to take support you know we coaches are there for that uh, transformational programs take support uh, uh, you know human beings need that and uh, we should allow ourselves to take the support and the third thing is take responsibility no one is responsible for your happiness only you are punam i can't thank you enough for sharing those vulnerable moments with us thank you so very much and thank you for watching so far if you have any questions queries or feedback for us do leave it in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that i'm in and if you like this video and find it resourceful you know what to do hit the like button share it with your friends and i'll see you next week with another failure story until then take good care of yourself bye